Hi there guys, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and I'm back uh, with another Photoshop tutorial this time. Uh, this one is going to be looking at creating this very nice neon text effect inside our Photoshop. Uh, now, I know you might be thinking not another neon text uh, tutorial, but I like this one a lot. Uh, I came with this design yesterday, just working around in the new CS6, but this will work with most Photoshop, so don't worry about that. Um, as you can see, as, as I just mentioned, I am in the new CS6. I'd highly recommend going and trying it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the uh, trial, or if you have the CS5 code, uh, you can just enter that and you'll get it. It is the in beta stages at the minute, though. Um, sorry, not the code, the serial. Make sure you enter your serial if you already have one of them. If you don't and you're new to Photoshop, definitely try it out and uh, get it on the trial. But as I said, this is the beta. Everything seems to work alright for me though. I've messed around with a lot of things and I like it a lot. But going back to this tutorial again, this will work with most Photoshops. Uh, I don't know about like some like Photoshop elements, but I don't like Photoshop elements at all. I think you should get, go and upgrade yourself very quickly. Um, so yeah, back in the tutorial guys, All right, um, warning already, uh, some of the layer styles that we're going to add to my text here might not work for your font or your size, um, so just have a mess around with them through the tutorial on your text and you should get come up with this exact effect like you see in front of you. So I've just made a new uh, Photoshop document, this one is 1280 by 720 uh, If you want to know how I create the background, it's just a black uh, to grey gradient, and I've added 1% per uh, noise to the background, just to give it this quite nice effect. Okay, so over to the actual uh, text itself. Uh, I'm going to be using Tahamo, or Tahama, Taho oh, Tahoma, oh my god I can't read, uh, Tahoma, <laughs> that's the font, uh, I like this font uh, a lot, it is already installed into uh, your uh, fonts that you get with Windows, um, so you, you'll have no problem, you don't need to download or anything, it will be there. The colour is going to be white, like so, uh, my size I'm going to be using 266 pixels, but uh, you can use whatever size font you want, uh, again when we use add, add some layer styles you might need to mess around with them. So I'm just going to put neon out, as you can see, for some reason it's changed back to black. Whack that onto white. Okay. Right, let's just drag this out so it's around center. Okay. Looking good. Now we should go on and add some layer styles to this. So I'm going to go over to the actual text on the side, go down to the effects, choose gradient overlay. Okay. Uh, for this one, what we're going to do is set both to white. Okay. In the middle, double click. Uh, we're going to choose a very light gray. Um, yeah, it looks good. So D9, 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 if you want to use the same code as me. Okay. And I'm just going to drag these points uh, so they're quite close to it. As you can see, so I'm dragging the left and right points over. And this is the type of effect you'll get. You'll have this very subtle grey gradient going through the middle of the text, like so. Okay. Back onto the effects. I'm going to be adding a bevel and emboss. We can pop this out a little bit. The depth, 150 pixels. The size of this is actually going to be 10 pixels. Angle, set both to 90 degrees. We want it straight in the center. Uh, turn off global lighting, if you don't know what that does. Um, global lighting will let you allow you to... Oh, I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> Make sure you turn it off before you add in the, uh, uh, the angles. Right, and then the gloss uh, contour is going to be this one here, and it is called the Cove. Okay, so that looks very nice. Right, and I'll show you what we've got. So we've got this nice bevel going on. That looks quite nice. Okay. Next up, let's add a stroke to this. I'm going to be adding a two-pixel stroke, and the color. I'm going to be using that with the color picker here. It's going to be two nine four f six one. Just a very darkish blue. Uh, just adds a bit of effect to the uh, to the side of the uh, text. It looks quite nice already. And now we need to add a outer glow to this, making the color white. And the sizes for this, the spread is going to be 14 pixels, and the size is going to be 16. Okay, so this is the type of effect we'll get uh, now. Um, as you can see, not looking very neon at the minute. Um, I'm going to show you what we'll do to get that effect now. So we're going to go down and create a new layer. Okay, now this is where we're going to add all those colors to. So I'm going to go up to the brush tool. Okay, using a soft brush. I'm going to be setting the size up quite a bit. Uh, let's see what size around. Um, 180 for this type of uh, size text will work quite nicely. So the um, I'm going to come down to my foreground color. Um, we're going to go for a lightish blue, or actually we're going to go for a pink first. 
Um, so quite a hot pink, somewhere around there. Okay. And what we're going to do is just come straight over the text, completely submerging one of the actual text in uh, the color, like so. What we're going to do now, come to our foreground color again. Uh, this one's going to be a nice bluish color, very light blue, like so. Completely submerge that text again. Uh, let's go for a green this time, so quite a very bright green, like so. Completely submerge that one, and then the last. Uh, let's add a purple. Okay, you can use whatever colors you want. I just think these look very nice for this type of effect. Okay, so once we've got it looking like this, um, we're gonna go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm gonna blur it up quite a bit. So as you can see, it's starting to all blend together, like so. And you can see the text in the background. So I'm at uh, 82 pixels. Okay. Once we've got it like this, we're gonna go to the uh, blending options. I'm gonna click it and choose overlay. And as you can see, it's now uh, subtracted this, and it's looking quite good, except we have a lot of stuff in the actual background that we don't want. As you can see on this one, we don't have it there. Okay. So what we're going to do, grab the rubber tool. We've got to set it up, uh, the size up quite a bit. Uh, so it's around this size. And I'm just going to remove all this excess uh, sort of color out of the background. Now, I'm just going to do this very quickly. Uh, you're going to have to spend some time to get this effect looking very good. Uh, you're going to have to zoom in, get in all these uh, nooks and crannies, and then just, as you can see what I'm doing here, uh, this is quite a bad attempt. But just go around, removing any of the excess um, color around of the actual text. You just want to make sure you leave it in the actual inner shadow. So say inside of this circle, go around and remove any excess color. And then, obviously, oh, I'm still doing a bad attempt now. I'm just rushing this. Um, but what you'll end up with is this effect right here. So, as I said guys, go around this, take your time, get out every little bit of colour and uh, you'll end up with a very nice effect and uh, I hope that you enjoy the effect. Uh, I'd love to see uh, anything you come up with that you use the text for, so if you want to send me that, um, go for it. Just send me a link to, to anything that you're using it in and this is the effect you'll end up with. That's the tutorial guys, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Thank you.